Hi there, cats and kittens. My name is Salty Tabby, and welcome back to Little Misfortune. Um, so last time, we went to Benjamin's house, and we found out some very concerning things about the narrator, who uh, may or may not be an interdimensional parasite living in my head trying to do, get me to play games with him until it kills me. So, turns out Benjamin was a good guy all along. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> we, we might actually be near the end of this game. Uh, and if that is the case, uh, then this video might go a little long. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. If I can split it up into two, I will attempt to. So, yeah, let's get going. Don't want to run too much. I always worry about running in this game ever since I, uh, What's going on? Benjamin! He came back! Hey, buddy! He was behind uh, us! I guess I'll take the train back home. Then, wait. I have a bad feeling. Aware. Benjamin wants us to be aware you of the monster. Look at this? I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. Yeah. He knew all along. He Such did. A foxy boy. Yeah. What fan? Is there anything else to look at here? No. Okay. What time is it? It's What? That doesn't seem right. That clock isn't correct. Because if that clock was correct, then it's... If that clock was correct, then it's... It's... Like, 20 minutes past midnight. So that clock is either broken, or something's terribly wrong. Okay, I'll wait here. Wait a Wait um, for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. Yeah, hi. <gasps> so, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. Yeah, I we did have a monkey, very weird day. I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. We did see Benjamin. And then I went to the I like how she imagined herself as a little princess. Everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. Yeah. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. But he didn't take Benjamin. Like Benjamin was behind us. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. Yeah. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Train home. <sighs> Oh, hello, friend. We have not found your fog yet, unfortunately. I'm not sure where it would be. Ooh, we get to color? Ooh. <laughs> color in the lines. Color in the lines. Mmm. I don't think we have different colored crayons for this. I think this might be the only one we have. Well, oh, oh, it automatically does the thing. I see. Well, I feel a little silly. <laughs> I was sitting here doing it all real careful, like... Because I thought we were actually coloring, like, individual spots. I would like it to be, like, colored in well, but I guess that's not always the way we do things here. We are just a small girl, after all. Just a little girl. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, we're not going to next yet. We gotta finish coloring. We do not leave coloring undone. 
If we leave coloring undone, we will never get back to it. That is something I have learned from personal experience. That if we don't finish what we started, it will make it much harder to pick it back up later. So you do it now or you don't do it at all. <laughs> Ah, this brings me back. Can't get that little stuff right there. Oh well. <laughs> this is as close as y'all are ever gonna get to watching me do any actual art. I'm so self-conscious about like drawing in front of other people and stuff. I know a lot of people do like art streams and things like that. I could never. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole nother one. How many of these are there? Well, we'll be doing them for a while. First is a Segasaurus of some kind, and now is a Triceratops-esque thing. Oh, they have the name up there. I should have noticed that. I did not notice that at all. They're cool, though. So my uh, my favorites are always the raptors. Not necessarily velociraptors. I like most kinds of raptors. Utah raptors. The uh, uh, There's another kind of raptor as well. There's a couple of different ones. I like them all. I think they're neat. Oh, look at him with blue eyes. She likes blue eyes, doesn't she? Benjamin's got big blue eyes. It's understandable. Blue eyes are pretty. My fiance has blue eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. Alright. Um. I see. So once we get to a certain point in the coloring, they're like, you could either stop now and go on to the next one, or you could finish what you started. Look, man, if I'm going to color, I'm going to color. I like that she made it red, though. Red's a neat color. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But a lot of people just went and then went to the next one. I'm sitting here just very patiently coloring. Why? I don't know. Habit. Okay, we're almost there. We got all the clouds. Got most of the grass and trees and stuff. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next. Whoa! Look at him. Whoa, she made him purple. That's cool. Cyrolophosaurus. Cryo. Cry. Cryolophosaurus. I'm terrible with these kind of names. Cryolophosaurus. This is a what? Why'd you stop? Uh, I don't feel inspired. We 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 colored like you you stopped me in the you can't. Okay. <gasps> Hello, hero. Hi, hero. I didn't recognize you. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know. I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I wonder if the same thing that happened to Hero anymore. is what's happening I to us. I saw it the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Yeah. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I would have been cold. I know uh, Hero. Be aware mean? of the consequences. It's the monster. Hero. He said, help me! Hero! We help Hero! He needs us! Hero! No! Oh! Our friend! Hero! We never found the fog with him! I'm so sorry! Well, that was traumatic. Oh my gosh. I hope I get to see Hero again. Me too. I don't know what the monster did to him. I don't know. 
Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. Yeah, no if kidding. If Miami was here, he would walk with me. I bet he would. Uh... Kick the can. It's Benjamin's writings. Benjamin was warning me all the time. He but was. I couldn't stay. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a still in my lane. That's where I am. It's okay. Uh -huh. We all want happiness. Sometimes it's just not the easiest thing to find. And sometimes you can't. Sometimes you just gotta make do with what you have. Even if it's hard. Oh, are we not going this way? I thought we were going this way. I guess we're going the other way. I could have sworn we came from... Oh no, we did come from this direction. Home is home is to the left, not the right. <laughs> Phantasmagoria. We did. I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Maybe don't. She might get mad if we went without her. Right. <laughs> there are kids there. Hello? We have to go home. I'm not going to talk to them. It's nighttime. We're, wait, they won't let me? Okay, I guess we have to talk to them. Hello? Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. I have a bad feeling about this. Have we ever actually spoken to a person that we've seen? Wait, no, we gave that guy his wallet back. Right. So, and we could interact with a lot of things, but I... I mean, no one's ever spoken to uh, us. I don't... The car? Is that a goma gum? I don't even think... I don't think our mother or our father... Well, your father... Our father wasn't home. I have a bad feeling about this. We're home. But something feels wrong. Something feels very wrong. All of our stuff that was out here is gone. The car's gone. Our pool. We had a bunch of things out here. Toys. We got red lights. I don't like them. I have a bad feeling. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? The house is empty. The house is abandoned. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What's that sound? Bangy? This is bad. We're dead, aren't we? We've been. The house is empty. Hello? Mommy? Bangy? What happened here? Oh, no. Congratulations. You reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's it's too no late. eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yeah, I guess you're right. No. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. No. Splendid. You no. will love my new game. No. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so This is the beginning of the fan family. this is the beginning of the game. A little sparkle for you and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? We did. 
No, you're not doing this correctly. Didn't you say something about me dying today? Which is totally not true, by the We're way. We're stuck in a loop of some kind. <laughs> Wait, stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Mm, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful, fantastic, ready to... wait, what? No deal, no, no. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, what is happening? Sure, I promise you know the way. Okay, I'm just gonna play this game one last time. I don't like this. We don't run this time. No. It won't, it won't let me not run. It wouldn't let me not run. Oh no, not again. You promised you wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause It and wouldn't let me do anything else. You lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? The monster. You're scaring me. Stupid. We need to run. We need to run. We need to run. What happened here? My secret spot. You won't find me in there. Oh, honey. Open this door right now. Fortune. We have a new game to play. No. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. Oh, no. no, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game only thing keeping you alive is that one more of your lies no i don't think it is with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it will you please stop talking about that fox he's been trying to take you away from me all the time and it's ugly penguins Ugh. oh no you don't talk like that about my benjamin you know what i'm done with you i want you to leave Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. This is free. <gasps> oh my gosh. You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. Toy. Your of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're... Turning up the sound, because it's a little low. Benjamin! Benjamin! Hey, buddy. Uh, how did you get here? Go, There's Benjamin! She belongs to me. Benjamin? Go, buddy. <laughs> Benjamin. Come on, buddy. You can no. do this. No. Yes! Benji! Benjamin. 
what a good fox. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Benji. Here, let me turn the sound down again. Oh, the house is back to normal. That's that's good. Maybe we're not dead. Maybe I was just, uh, you know. Uh, we're home. We're here. Is everything back to normal now? I don't Benjamin know. Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? We're okay. Take a look at our stuff. I guess I have to rebuild this. I'll make some improvements, but first, I want to thank Benjamin. Yeah. I don't think he'll be here anymore, honey. This job Benjamin, is over. Benjamin, did you go outside? This job is over. He saved you, I think. Margo is coming. Open your eyes. He is the voice in your head, driving you mad. Eat. Margo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head? Driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Morgo. Benjamin, where are you? Well, no, we never did fix it, did we? Uh, Ow. Ugh. Talk about cause and effect. <laughs> uh, Don't uh, learn things from the big... Me? Big bad monster. Be uh, if mom's home. Soup. Still cooking. Mom was here. The cigarettes there. Still hot. Mommy. Oh, what is happening? Mommy, I'm back. Mommy, don't ignore me. She's already gone. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? She's talking to the cop about us having been missing. What happiness? Mommy? Honey. Oh, oh, misfortune. No. This must be a bad dream. Oh, honey. Oh. We got hit by a car. We got hit by our dad's car. Oh my god. When? Was it on our way home or on our way out? No, the car was there when... When we left, the car was there. Unless he backed into us, but he wasn't in the car, I don't think. It's us. It's us. Yeah. Yeah. We got hit by Dad. Oh no. What have I done? Oh, honey. Hey, Benji. Oh, Benji, you're back. Hey, buddy. I thought I lost you, too. Oh, Benjamin. What's this? What, what's happening? I think he's gonna take us home. We need to go? Alright. Yeah, let's go with Benji. <laughs> you're a little fast. Benji, wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Benji, okay? He's the first Benji will I take care of us. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while, but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. We 
hard for her to find her own happiness, you know? Thank you, Benji. Let's go. Ooh. Neat. Let's go with Benji. Bye, Mom. Yeah. At some point, I kind of figured, you know. It's rough. Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where, Where are, are we going? Good question. Go with Benji. Place is spooky, but oh, oh puppy! It's the puppy. So happy to see you again. Hey, buddy. Wait for me, puppy. Oh. Whoa. That's weird. <laughs> like when we run, he does a little. He does a little run. <laughs> All right. Oh. This is strange. Bugs. Isopods. I like isopods. Strange thing to like, I know, but what can I say? I wonder where he's taking them. Hopefully it's somewhere nice. those from the opening, but it could be just be misremembering. Oh. Hello. Like every time the lightning flashes, we see something weird. Strange. Into the fog. Where are we? Oh, this place is really cold. Oh <laughs> puppy! Who's your good puppy? Yeah! Who's your good puppy? Oh, I guess we're supposed to ring the bell? Ding, dingle. Oh, I know I didn't find all of those. Oh. I missed a couple. I did as many as I could. I know I missed a few because I was told that I missed a few, but... Okay. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. What? All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. I hope I got all of these. I don't remember if I did or uh, not. I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Then what game are we playing? Hello? Who are you? I'm a little lonely. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes. yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. Okay. We were expecting you. That's weird. This is all very weird. Hope that'll be enough of whatever those are. 
Looks like I missed six of them. What is this place? I don't know. Are you gonna show me? What? That's it? Huh. Strange. I wonder if I had gotten all of the things, if there had been something different. Well. Um. It's been an interesting game. Dark in some places, but still good. I'll have to check and see if there's, like, different endings, if you get all the things, or if I missed something entirely. I'll take a peek and then, uh, we'll, we'll see. Yikes forever. <laughs> yeah. It was sad. In a lot of places, and disturbing in others. Mr. Voice was definitely a bad guy. I'm glad Benjamin was a good guy, though. Good Benji. Yeah, he had gas because he ate those weird mushrooms. <laughs> Poor dude. Music forever. <laughs> Big, uh, big props to all the people who worked on this. So this is a, this is a very unique game. I quite liked it. Never played a game quite like it before. Sushi. Not a big fan of sushi, despite being a cat. Oracle. And yeah, well, I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything I missed, like what what that changes, if it actually changes anything big. And uh, if it does, then I'll uh, maybe do a little mini episode on on what happens if you get all of those things. I'll go back and try to get all of the things, kind of trying to speed run it, you know. Um. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm also going to see if there's anything after these credits or not. <laughs> I'm also not sure like how the decisions actually affect things in the game, but uh, we'll see. Kill Monday games. Hmm. Another cookie. Chocolate chip cookies are delicious. Especially with milk. Beta testers. Those are the guys that help you iron it all out. Um, I think the next game that I'll be playing in the place of this is going to be uh, Night in the Woods. Which I, I have played kind of a little bit of the beginning of very briefly years ago. But I don't remember really any of it. Other than that, the main character is a, like a cat, so we're gonna be we're gonna be doing that. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. Interesting. Uh, that that was little misfortune. Uh, we will. I will again. I will look look this up. See what we missed, and see if anything needs to be done. But otherwise, that's it. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tabby's cat tip of the day today is, uh, does it seem like sometimes your cat isn't interested in playing with a toy you got for them? They, you just wave it around and they don't seem to care? Well, you might need to change how you use the toy to play with them. Cats are hunters. They have, uh, instincts for chasing small critters. You know, mice. Uh, lizards, birds, all sorts of things. If you're just waving the toy around above or in front of them, it's not very stimulating for them, right? So what you need to do is treat the toy as if it's an actual animal. 
like if it's on the ground, move it around. Try try and make it seem alive, you know? Um, if it's like a, one of those feathers on a string, maybe like have it fly around in the sky for a little bit, then land, maybe move a little bit. Uh, put something like under or behind things and like have them scoot around on the floor. Have it react to the cat as if it's an actual live thing that they're chasing. That way, they actually might be more interested in it. And now, of course, this isn't uh, the end-all be-all. Some cats might just not be super interested in play. But for the most part, most cats enjoy playing, even if they had some more than others. So yeah, um, that's going to be it for today. I hope you cats and kittens have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you in the next series. Bye-bye! <laughs>